Hello everybody, and uh, this is episode two. Now, I literally just came out of that door from episode one. And uh, I might post this on the same day, or I might not. Uh, if you come across wild pigs, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even click A. Well, I did, but not close enough. So what I'm going to do is, since I got the sword, I'm going to go up there. Oh, no! Blech. I'm going to go up here and save Tetra, which is the pirate uh, chick that was standing by the bird. Uh, get out of here. He moved. He was over on the other side before. Okay, so here we go. Back to this. Gonna go over here. What does it say? Don't go up there. Even if that's not what it said, it might as well have just said that. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. Come on. Faster, faster, Link. You can go faster than that. It's just a hill. Ah. Goodbye, goodbye trees. Now see that? They're going to have that in Skyward Sword. It's going to be just like that, except since it's one-to-one, -one, whatever direction you slice is the direction that the trees fall down, instead of just generically flat. It'll do that, though. Uh, say, you ever played the Watermelon Slice game for the iPod? Have you ever seen it? Where you slice it with your... Not the iPod, but the Kinect. I'm dumb. Or for the iPod, pretty much use your finger. You slice the watermelon in half, or the fruit or whatever, and it does exactly the same way that it does. Is the way it slices in half. And it'll be the same like that for Skyward Sword. Uh, nope. That guy's not up there. Forget, he's up there after you leave this island and come back. Little telescope guy that I mentioned in the last last part. Ooh, we're over this bridge. That was a hard obstacle. Yeah, see, there I go with my whistling again because they run out of commentary. Ooh. Link, there's some grass. <laughs> it's like the lamest thing ever. Oh, she has a little, like, dagger. Why couldn't she fight for herself? Because she's knocked out, dummy. Okay, so there's actually an enemy down here. No, I'm not actually going to fight him yet. I'm going to sneak around. Can I get some rupees? Yeah, 20. Now I have 187 or 77. Wow, I'm bad at math. Hey, I'm bad at math. Don't make fun of me. Okay, so... Uh, aha! Get out of here! You dead yet? You dead yet? Nope. Chub attack! Oh wow, that was kind of lame. Didn't even hit you. What are you dropping? What are you dropping? All right, here are that wing. Ting, ting, ting. That is uh, one of the sound effects for the rupees. If you compare that to say Twilight Princess, it's a lot more high pitched, and it seems kind of childish. If you think about it. So yeah. So as soon as they come down here, there's gonna be like bad guys drop from like birds, which. I, it doesn't really make sense because they never explain in this entire game where those guys came from or who sent them. So that giant bird came by, but these guys weren't following that giant bird. They had nothing to do with the giant bird. So for some reason, they sent backup without having to alert anybody. So it's kind of weird. Either way. Ah! Okay, now the pirate chick gets dropped. And when she gets dropped, she's like, ah, oh, I'm just so. See? Ah! Well, I like a voice. Darn you Japanese and your voice acting. So, oh, that just broke. And so then this guy, I think his name's like Gonzo or something. He has this giant swirly chest hair, and it's amazing. She's like, ooh, look at your legs. I don't like those clothes you're wearing. <laughs> that's my impression of her. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, it's pretty bad, but. Aha! Uh -huh. Miss Tetra, that's the guy right there. I think his name is Gonzo. See that chest hair thing? It's like whoosh, swirl. Yeah, we want to see that, buddy. Stop with the deep V already. Nobody likes a deep V. Except Daniel Tosh and people that wear deep Vs. <laughs> that was a horrible joke. So, uh, that wasn't nice of me to... Nice of the bird to drop me on this mountain. As if it was nice of it to kidnap you in the first place. What about the kid? Oh, don't worry about him. Nobody cares. So she leaves and then I go out. Oh no, it's my sister. What is she doing? She should stay out of affairs that aren't her foreign affairs. So, down on the left, if you can see the camera in there. Uh... Hey. Hey, how's it going? How is it going? Probably at about five minutes now. Not sure though. Let's see. Uh... I have to like... There's a counter on my little camera screen. And I'm kind of adding that before. Adding the time that I did in the first clip to the second clip, and like you've noticed before, I'm not very good at math. Oh no, that she was taken up. Uh, Link, what are you doing? The bird's already like three miles out there. Don't run towards the edge and save her. 
I'll do it anyway. I'm gonna do it. I swear, and I'm gonna jump out that far and get her. Or not. There's water down there. He would have died because there's surface tension. Oh no. Let me go. Just let me fall off this edge and die. Let me do it. Okay, so yeah, that was kind of lame. I'm just doing voices for the characters. Oh, look, seagulls following that bird. Oh, my sister's taken. Yeah, it's kind of a touching moment I just kind of like ruined with my devilish commentary. Oh, yes. Your sister was taken. Okay, so here we go. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates. I go to the pirates, and they seem kind of piratey, but like not super piratey at the same time. So come on, come on, just skip through all this crap. Nobody cares. And how do you figure that? Oh yeah, and this the postman gets all angry at the pirates for not letting me come along when supposedly it was their fault in the first place that my sister got stolen. It makes sense considering that the bird came to this island because it was stealing the pirate, her right there, Tetra. And so the pirates shot the bird and it dropped her. And then if the pirates hadn't come to this island, the bird wouldn't have dropped here and it wouldn't have taken the sister, mistaking it for the pirate girl. I just kind of like sum it up, summed up the entire thing without having to read this, unless you're reading through right now. The camera does seem like it's doing pretty good quality, <clears throat> so I bet you could read it all, actually. Uh, like I said, I will be getting a capture card, so don't don't fret over it. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Nobody cares. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was Young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest. Wow, I capitalized the cane Link. Look at that. Look at that. Well, can't fix it now. Is this true? Oh, indeed. It's very true. But, governor! I don't know. That was, that was bad. Back to this. Forsaken Fortress. So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? It's like the worst Cockney British accent, like, ever. Cockney British accent. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. Oh my goodness, come on! Hello, people. Come on. Come on. You know, I run out of commentary every time. Okay, so the new boss is Skyward Sword. Might as well talk about that now. Girahim is his name. He is kind of a weird looking guy. You ever played Twilight Princess and gone to the little star carnival? He looks kind of like that guy, but with weird eye makeup and wearing white face paint. Hey, look, Nico. What's up, Nico? Yeah, I don't wash dirty underwear anymore. Because that means it's my job, because I'm coming along. So I'm going to get a shield. But yeah, so Girahim looks actually, even though he's kind of a weirdo, kind of fruity looking. Yeah, he seems to be an aw, uh, very good foe for Link. He's a master swordsman. He is actually better at swords than Link is, so the fighting that. Oh, oh yeah, let's go up here. The fighting that you're gonna have to do with him is insane. He actually catches your sword a couple times and you have to like pull it away from him. Oh no, the shield's gone. Grandma has it, but she's down there crying. See, there she is. She's like, oh, you're leaving me. And your sister got kidnapped. And I have a giant crick in my neck. It hurts. Ugh. Yeah, it's gonna hurt for a while. No big deal. I don't know if you can see, but on the very right of the video is my Halo Reach wall size poster. Pretty amazing. Oh no. Ah, I'm still really actually kind of amazed at the quality of this camera right now. Darn you glare of the window. I'll fix that for next video, guys. Don't worry about it. There won't be a glare next time. Even though it's not that bad right now. You see a little black line going up the screen? That's the bad thing about recording from cameras. Uh, I don't know why it actually does that, the technical reason. Might be a reflection of the lens off of the screen, but either way. But this camera doesn't seem to be as bad as some cameras. Okay, so now I got my shield, I can do a bunch of stuff. Funny thing is, in this game, Link doesn't have earrings like he does in a lot of games. But his sideburns, like where his hair comes down, from the back, covers his ears. And when he's walking, or it goes under his ears, and it kind of looks like earrings when he's walking. See? See that? You might not be able to see it, but you might at the same time. Looks like earrings. Flap, 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 flap. Either way... Oh, and see, look at his ears. See, they're kind of short. In most other games, Link has long ears, especially when he's adult. But in Skyward Sword, he seems to have these size ears, which is another new thing. All right, let's go. 
or when I sing, not just whistling. Buong. Buong. Oh, little snot boy. Just blow it out. Stop sniffling it. It's just going to make it worse. Get a piece of toilet paper. Goodbye, everybody from the island. Oh, no. It's Grandma. Oh, poor Grandma. Goodbye, Link. I will miss you. Hug in the air. Can Grandma see me? Oh, guess not. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Cause I have a little attitude and I'm amazing. I'm a pirate and you're just a kid. Ha 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 ha. That's what she's thinking. She even thinks in a deep male voice. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna end the video on that note. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and bye.